Good morning, everyone. Sorry for that late start. A little technical delay, and I had to restart my computer. But here we are. If you're joining us today, can you please check in with me on the Facebook page just to show me that you're here, OK? We're going to start. If you have two blocks or two thick books wrapped in a fabric uh, bag, you can um, use that. I'm also using a soft blanket today, so um, that's also a nice thing to have under the knees and under your hips. We're going to start um, by sitting down. So we're going to sit uh, cross-legged first. You can uh, face your computer. But we're going to close the eyes, bring the hands on the knees or in the lap. And gently open your shoulders and sit up as tall as you can. If you would rather sit up on your knees, you can also do that. We just take a few moments to bring ourselves into our yogic self. <sighs> By the way, my name is Adrian. This is our Saturday morning uh, iFitness vinyasa flow class. It's a little spicier than Friday, so here we go. So bringing yourself into the space of the room that you're in, hopefully it's quiet and warm. Softening your shoulders, softening your hips, softening your chin a little bit downward, softening your hands on your knees, feeling where your feet are touching the floor. And taking a few moments to bring yourself down into your breath, whatever it may be at this moment right now. Listening to the breath in the back of your throat. Filling up your nostrils with air. Maybe breathing out through your mouth, opening your jaw, relaxing the jaw, relaxing muscles of the face, so that your face feels calm, your mouth calm, space between your eyes getting a little wider, opening up the forehead, Opening your shoulders. Feeling the length of your spine as you breathe in and out, creating space in between your vertebrae. Feeling the stability in the lower half of the body and the lightness in the upper half of the body. Now bring your breath into the front of your focus. Breathing in deeply, filling up your lungs with air. And exhaling deeply, emptying out your lungs. You can breathe in through your nose. And out through your mouth. And in through your nose and out through your mouth. Slowly relax your mouth. And we're going to breathe in and out through the nose through most of the rest of the class. We have an active vinyasa class coming, so we're going to draw the belly button toward the spine and have most of our breathing in the upper rib cage. You can slowly open your eyes now, roll your shoulders a few times. I see that some people have joined us. That's very nice. Happy to see you on a Saturday morning. You're going to come back on your hips. You're going to move a little sideways to show you this better. So you can sit uh, either to the top of your mat or sit lengthwise. Yeah. You're going to bring the feet uh, in front of you and sit up as tall as you can. I have my uh, 
hip bones, uh, my sitting bones up on a blanket, but you can also sit on a block. I actually prefer that you sit up on a blanket or sit on nothing right now. But if it feels very hard to lengthen your spine, you can sit up on a block, okay? We're gonna draw the soles of the feet together, coming into Baddha Konasana. You can have your feet further away or closer in, up to you. We're going to sit up tall, open the shoulders. You're going to let the knees fall out to the side, looking straight forward, inhaling. And exhaling with a long, long spine, drawing elbows inside your knees. You're going to relax over your legs, draw your chin into your chest, shoulders away from your ears. You can relax your feet now, open like a book. You can press your thumb into the plexus of the middle of your foot. And we take five deep breaths here. So we want to make sure that we're sitting back on the sitting bones, not moving forward into the front of your hip joint. And we exhale out. We begin these five breaths. Inhaling. And exhaling. And two. And three. Of course, you're going at your own pace. This is just a suggestion. And four. And last one. And exhale out if you want through your mouth. And draw your belly button toward the spine. As you inhale, slowly roll up through your vertebrae. Open your shoulders. Open your eyes if you're closed. Bring your knees together with your hands. Bring your feet in front of you. And make sure that you're sitting up really tall. You're going to bring hands behind the back of the knees. You're going to look straight ahead. Lift one foot off the floor. Point your toes. Lift other foot oops, off the floor. Point your toes. Engage your abdominal muscles. And we come to Navasana. You stay here, inhaling. You can drop your elbows if you want. And exhaling, you drop belly in. You look straight ahead, inhaling. Exhale, you want to sit up as tall as you can on your sit bones. And three. And four. And five. We exhale out, we bring the feet to the floor. Keep your hands under your knees and open the shoulders. You're going to inhale, sitting up tall. Exhale, rounding your lower back, chin into your chest. Inhaling, rolling up through your spine. Look over your right shoulder, a little arch in the upper back. Exhaling, rounding lower back, middle back, upper back. Draw the belly in. Inhale, look over your left shoulder. Not too much strain in the neck. Exhale, rounding backward on your sit bones. Inhale, up to the right shoulder, looking over. Exhale, really press your feet into the floor, big toes, pinky toes. And inhale, look over your left shoulder. Good. Exhale, back into the center. And inhale, coming up again. Open your legs uh, back into Bhadakonasana again, and this time you stretch your right leg out to the side and flex your heel. Stretch both arms to the sides of your shoulders. Inhale, lifting both arms up, bring your palms together, press palms up toward the ceiling. Lift your shoulders up and roll your shoulder blades down your back. Deep breath in. Exhale, we reach, reach, reach over to the right side. And we open the chest up toward the ceiling. You can let your right hand drop down. Bring your left arm up toward the ceiling and reach your left arm further toward your right toes. So you may not reach your toes. It doesn't matter. We're going to just see if you can open the rib cage up toward the ceiling, keeping your head and your neck very loose. And we take another deep breath here. We're pressing the sitting bones back. And slowly come back to center. Bring your hands up. Press your palms up and the shoulders. 
And you bring your right foot in, you stretch your left leg out. Inhale in the center. Exhale, shoulders down and reach over to the left side. You know, open the right side of the rib cage up toward the ceiling. You want to flex both feet strongly, feeling this nice long diagonal stretch in the back of the body. Shoulders soft away from the ears. Filling up your lungs with air. Nice long stretch, and you can reach down with your hand, lift your arm up, take this last breath to stretch even a little further, and slowly come back up. Bring your palms up, bring your feet together, and take your hands behind your back, about three hands away from your hips, and bring your feet onto the floor, parallel feet. You're going to draw a belly in, walk your feet a little closer in, and as you inhale, the tips up in the air. So we want to make a long, long stretch from the knees through the shoulders. You can stretch the back of the neck. Try not to let your head fall down. And we're going to press away from the hands, opening shoulders, drawing belly in. Imagine you have a block in between your thighs, and you're drawing your inner thighs toward each other. And slowly going to bring your hips down without letting your hips touch the floor and flex your heels. Draw your belly back and inhale, lift up again. Open your shoulders. Exhale, draw your hips back. And then bend your knees, bring your sit bones back on the blanket and bring your feet together, soles of the feet. That's why it's a little harder to do this with a block, yeah? So we inhale in the center. We're going to do this a little faster now. Exhale, we come to Bhadakanasana. Inhale deeply here. Exhale out. We stay for three breaths, inhaling two. Three. And exhale out, draw belly in. Inhale, lift all the way up, bring your legs together. Take your hands behind your knees. You can lift the other foot this time. Lift both feet up. Stretch into your toes. Three deep breaths. Inhaling. Exhaling, belly in. If you like, you can stretch your arms now. Inhaling. Exhaling. And one more time if you want to stretch your legs. Inhaling. Exhaling, then bring your knees in, bring your feet down, hug your lower back, hug your knees and round your lower back, and slowly come up, hands behind your knees. Inhale in center, exhale, round your spine. Inhale, look over right shoulder. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, look over left shoulder. Exhale, round your spine. Inhaling, coming up again. Open your knees out to the side, sit up tall. Reach the arms, shoulder height, lift arms up. Fingers together, press your palms up, lift your shoulders. Exhaling down, stretch right leg out, flex both heels, inhale. Exhale, reaching over. This time you're gonna to twist toward the right leg and bring both hands down on the right Leg either on the thigh, the knee, or the calf. Inhaling one, two. See if you can lift up as much as possible. Three. Exhale out, reaching your hands forward, come all the way back up. Bring your fingers together, press up. Bring your right foot in, bring your left leg out. Inhale. Exhale, you twist toward the left leg. Cross your hands on top of your left leg. Really stretch out the spine. Exhale, head down. Three breaths. Inhaling one, two, and three. Exhaling, inhale, lift all the way up. Fingers pressing up toward the ceiling. This time, stretch your right leg out. And you don't have to have your legs as far out as they can go. You can have them in just a little bit. You can also bend your knees and flex your heels. We inhale, reaching forward, pressing back into the sitting bones. We don't want to sit into the front of the hips, into the ligaments. And bring your elbows down to the floor if you can. Relax your head down. 
We do want to keep the feet very flexed. So we don't want to sit forward like that. For some of us who are very flexible, that's a nice challenge. And we we'll take a few breaths here. Shoulders away from the ears. It doesn't matter how far you come down. It matters is that the spine stays very long, breathing into the whole back. Get a nice stretch in the back of the legs, and we slowly, slowly exhale out. Inhale, come up, stretch your arms up. Take your hands behind you now, bring your feet together. You bring your uh, feet onto the floor. We're going to come up in that, lifting up in that big bridge. So we're pressing. This is reverse tabletop, looking up. We exhale, draw the hips back, flex your heels. Inhale, you lift. Up. And exhale, flex your heels, and then slowly, slowly bring your hips back down, cross your ankles, sit up tall, and then come onto your hands and knees. I have one block at the top and the back of my mat. I'm going to take my blanket and bring it underneath my knees. My hands are at the top of the mat, wrists underneath the shoulders. You can adjust to your wrists. And I'm slowly going to stretch out the toes and stretch out the spine. Exhale, curling tailbone under, rounding lower back, middle back, upper back. Engage your abdominals. Inhale, open your shoulders, look up toward the ceiling with the crown of the head. Exhale, round your spine. And inhale and lengthen. Tucking toes under. Exhale, round your spine and press back into the balls of your feet, into your heels. Inhale, stay back there and open your chest and look up. Exhale and round shape your spine. And inhale and lengthen. Keeping your toes tucked under, round shape your spine. Walk your hands up your thighs and come to stand. Inhale, lift your arms up, press palms away. Exhale, reach to the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, reach to the left. Inhaling up with your hands in front of you. Bring your elbows down and start to circle your wrists around in either way. Everybody doing okay? I hope so. Shake out your hands. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, draw your tailbone back. Hips to your heels again. Hands onto the top of the mat and come back. So we're going to start to move the whole spine around. Enjoy yourself. Move your hips, move your head. And then come back into the center. We're going to um, sink into the shoulder blades, exhaling, inhaling, coming up. Then we bend the elbows, come halfway down, and inhale, come up. So we sink down into shoulder blades with straight arms, then we bend the elbows in toward each other, not out to the side, and come back up. So exhale, shoulder blades toward each other, inhale, we lift away from the floor, exhale, elbows to the floor, inhale, come up. Last time, shoulder blades move toward each other. Spread your shoulder blades wide. Exhaling, elbows to the floor, and inhale, coming up. Roll your right wrist, roll your left wrist, roll your hips, and shake out your buttocks, and shake out your head. So pressing fingertips, knuckles, heels of the hand into the floor. Really play with your mat. You're going to stretch right leg out. You're going to stretch left leg out and come to high plank. You're going to inhale here and really press into the balls of the feet. As you exhale, press back into your heels. Inhale, activate your legs and the inner thighs. Drawing backwards. Exhale, tailbone goes down. Pubic bone goes forward. Exhale, heels back. And inhale, roll forward, not onto the toes, just to the balls of the feet. Exhale here, and inhale. Slowly, slowly, look up toward the ceiling. Open your chest and draw knees to the floor. We're coming up in a half up dog. So instead of sinking down into the shoulder blades, we want to lift the shoulder blades away from each other, draw the pubic bone forward. 
We take one more breath and slowly bring hips to heels, round the spine, bring your elbows onto the floor and shake out your hands. Stretch your arms back toward the top of the mat, inhale, coming up. Yeah, we're going to bring the left knee onto the blanket. We step right foot in between the hands. We lift the hands in front of the heart and press down to both feet. Inhaling and lifting your arms, look up. Exhale, take your arms behind you, bring your fingertips together, open your shoulders, clasping your hands. Inhale, upper chest toward the ceiling, and exhale, coming forward into humble warrior on the knee. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, draw your belly in. Inhale, open the shoulders. Maybe move the arms further up, bend your elbows. One more breath. Good. Slowly come up with your arms behind you. Lift your arms up toward the ceiling. Reaching forward, bring hands to either side of your front foot. And stretch your back toes out, coming up on the ball of the foot. Inhale, come up onto your fingertips. As you exhale, stretch right leg back, drawing your hips together. Relax your head down, deep breath in. Exhale down. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath, inhaling. As you exhale, bend your right knee, bring your left knee to the blanket, bring your right knee to the blanket, hands onto the floor, hips to your heels, round your spine and child's pose. Inhale, coming up. We step the left foot forward in between the hands. Bring hands in front of your heart. Lift up on your right knee. So make sure you have padding on your right knee if you need it. Stretch arms to the side and up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. Bring your fingers together, clasping your hands, palms up. Inhale. And then as you exhale, take your arms behind you. Open shoulders. Inhale. And as you exhale, reach onto the inside of your left thigh. Make sure left knee is over left ankle. Take three deep breaths here. Draw your belly in, press into your feet. See if you can move your arms further away from your back. One more breath. And inhale, lifting up, pressing into both feet. Lift your arms, look up. Exhale, reaching forward, come onto your fingertips. Tuck your right toes under, stretch out right leg. Inhale, come up a little higher. Exhale, reaching back, stretching your left leg, head down. You can press your right heel toward the floor as well. Inhale, three breaths. Exhale, Whew, empty your lungs. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Slowly, slowly bend your right knee. Bring the right knee to the floor. Hands back down, left knee to the floor. Come back into child's pose. Take a breath here. And then come back onto hands and knees. You can take your blanket away now. Move your hips around again. And then arch your lower back. Press away from the floor. Round your lower back and exhale up. Tucking your toes in with a round back, lift your knees off the floor, take a deep breath in. Exhale out, bring your hip heels to the floor, we take one more deep breath in. Exhale out, and slowly, slowly walk your hands back to your feet, bend your knees, relax your head down, and rolling up through your spine, lift your arms, look up toward the ceiling, and exhale, samastiti hi. Well, that's interesting. I only have two minutes left, and I haven't even done my sequence. Whoops. We're going to wobble to the front of the mat, and I'm going to take a little extra time. Sorry, again. We inhale, lift the arms, look up. Exhale, forward fold, head down. Inhale, coming halfway up. Exhale, bend your knees, step your right leg back. Step your left leg back and lift your hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale, high the ball of the feet, come to high plank. Exhale, bend your elbows. You can bring your knees to the floor 
or stretch, come up again and come all the way down to the floor. Open shoulders, inhale, up dog, exhale. That wasn't up dog, that was cobra. Now inhale, up dog, knees off the floor, rolling over your toes, come back down, facing dog. Inhale your right leg toward the ceiling, keeping hips even, point your toe. High the ball of your left foot, exhale, right knee into your forehead. Inhale and step your right foot in between your hands. Come up on your fingertips. Take your block, bring it on the inside of your right foot or your book or your hand on the floor. Left heel comes down, toes turn slightly in and stretch right arm up toward the ceiling. Look up to your right hand, deep breath in, and you can stay here for many breaths the next time you do this, but I'm going to move right along. I'm going to stretch the front leg and reach up to Chikanasana, and you can actually stay here five breaths each. I'm going to do two breaths each. We're going to come back up, even out the hips, bend your front knee, look over your front hand. Turn both palms up toward the ceiling, reaching away in Sun Warrior. Then coming back through Parshvapanasana, stretching the left leg, the left arm above your head. Reach your left arm to the top of the mat, take your block. Both hands on the block, bring your hips even to the front of the mat. Lift your left leg, flex your heel. Maybe come up a little higher if you want for Warrior Three. Take another breath. Exhale, bend your right knee, bring your left foot to the floor, inhale, lift both arms up. Exhale, turn to the left, come to warrior two. Inhale, stretch your right leg. Exhale, reaching to Trikonasana, look up toward the ceiling. Take another breath. Left hand behind your back, look to your block. Bend your front knee, take your block. Hand on the block, maybe you take your block up higher and lift up to Ardha Chandrasana. If you can, stretch left arm toward the ceiling, flex your foot toward the side of the mat. One more breath. Bend your right knee, slowly bring your left foot down to the floor, look up toward the ceiling again. And then taking your hand off the block, you're going to reach left arm to the left corner of the mat, cross your right arm over, inhale, lifting up, Exhale, bend right knee. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend left knee. Then walking to the back of your mat, find your other block. Hands on your block or on the floor. Lift your right leg up. Bend both knees. Bring your feet together. Take your block away. Relax your head down. Inhale, roll up through your spine. Lifting your arms up. Exhaling, samasthiti, and hands by your side. So feet are parallel at the top of the mat. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, forward fold and head down. Inhale, lifting halfway up. You can bring your hands up higher on your legs if you want. And then bending your knees, stepping your left leg back. Step your right leg back to downward facing dog. Inhale over into the high plank. Good. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, come up again. Exhale, bend elbows, come all the way down to the floor. Move your hands back. Inhale, cobra. Exhale down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, rolling over toes. Downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Exhaling up your heels toward the floor. Really breathing into your back. Open your shoulders. Feel your fingers on the floor and your toes. Inhale, stretch left leg toward the ceiling. Come high the ball of your right foot. Draw left knee to your forehead and step your left foot in between your hands. Come up on your fingertips. Take your block, the inside of your left foot. Hand on your block on the inside of your left lower leg. Right heel comes down. So your heels don't have to be in the same line. Your right heel can be further toward the right side of the mat. Draw your left hip underneath you. Stretch your right arm toward the ceiling. Take a few breaths here. Relax your head. 
And then we slowly lift up a little higher. We stretch the left leg, open the right side of the rib cage up toward the ceiling, and lift up. Hmm. And we're going to draw the hips into the center, draw the arms up, and relax your arms a little bit here. And slowly, slowly, we're going to bend the front knee, which is now your left leg. You're going to reach away with Sun Warrior. Slowly come back, bend your left elbow, bring it on your left thigh, left right arm up above your head, looking into your right hand for partial pranasana. Take another breath here. Slowly bring your right hand to the back of the mat, left hand framing your left foot. Take your block a little bit in front of you, hands on the block, and lift your right leg up in warrior three, flexing your heel. Toes down toward the floor, maybe you can come up a little bit higher. And exhale, bend your left knee, find the floor with your right toes. Inhale, lift your arms up in a lunge. Exhale, rotate toward the right and come back to warrior two. Yeah, so make sure you feel your warrior two is as wide as you want, so your knees over the middle of your ankle. Inhale, you stretch the left leg. Feeling tall in the middle of both legs, exhale, reaching, reaching forward. You come to Trikonasana, open the right side of the ribcage up toward the ceiling. Shoulder blades, riding down your back. Nice, beautiful breath. Good, slowly bend your knee, come back through warrior two. Lift your left arm back, sun warrior. Come back through warrior two, bend left elbow onto left thigh, right arm reaches up toward the ceiling and above your head. Then we take the right arm behind your back, looking down at your left foot, find your block, move it out, move your right leg in, we lift up to Ardha Chandrasana, flexing your heel, opening your shoulder, maybe you stretch your right arm toward the ceiling, maybe you look up. Really activate your legs, and then bend your left knee, look for the floor with your right toes, bring yourself back to warrior two, reaching away sun warrior, reaching through partial pronouncement, you stretch right arm to the right corner of the back of the mat, cross your hands, come back to the center, draw your toes together, if you need a block of your hands, take it, draw your chin in, Exhale, walk your hands back. Krasavita, Papa Tanasana A. Draw your elbows together. And you can do that combination many, many times and a lot slower. Lift your head up, bring your shoulders under, uh, your fingers underneath your shoulders, bend your left knee, and start to walk your hands all the way over to the left side. And take a deep breath in, lift left arm up, mm, and slowly come down, nice twist. Walk your hands back to center, inhale, exhale, bend your right knee, walk your hands all the way over, past your right foot, lift your right arm up, and slowly come down. Walk yourself to the top of the mat, and stretch your right leg back to downward facing dog. Inhaling, rolling through the spine to high plank. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, come up. Bring knees to the floor and stretch out your toes. Hips to heels and round your spine in child's pose. You can take your knees out to the side. Stretch out your arms in front of you. Forehead to the floor. <sighs> So, take a few breaths here. <sighs> slowly, slowly walk your hands back into your knees, walk your knees together, come up onto your side and stretch your legs out in front of you. If you like, take your blanket back under your hips again, bring the soles of your feet together, inhale, lift up, exhale, forward fold. Few breaths here. Hmm. Shoulders soft. Good. Inhale, lift up. Bring your feet onto the floor. Walk your hip bones onto the sitting bones onto the blanket. Take your hands under your knees. 
Stretch your legs up in front of you for Navasana. Stretch your arms to the side. If you like, stretch out your legs. We stay here and breathe. Two, three, and then slowly bring your knees into your chest. Hug your knees. Good. Stretch out your legs. Take the blanket and bring it to the top of the mat. You're going to bring your head down on the blanket. You're going to take a block that doesn't <laughs> roll away. If you don't have a block, you can just do half bridge. But we do a supported half bridge just to take a little relax. <sighs> so the feet are parallel, knees are parallel, arms by your side, palms facing down, wiggle out your hips. That was a very, very, very rapid class in the middle there. So please feel free to take your time to do that again, even a little slower. You can put me on pause if you like. Good. If you want to stretch out your right leg, heel onto the floor for a second, stretching the psoas muscle from the thigh, and bring your foot back, stretch your left leg out, heel on the floor, and bring both feet, walk your feet into your heels to you, you can touch your heels with the middle finger, stretch out your shoulders, breathe into the belly, Draw the belly button down toward the floor, lift both hips up. Make sure you keep your head in the center. Take your block away and come and roll down through your spine, drawing knees into the chest. If you like, you can twist from side to side. And you can do a whole yin class after this. Come to Shavasana, palms up toward the ceiling, shake out your legs. And take a few breaths here. And while you're lying down in Shavasana, I will just come and say to you that I miss you all very much. I hope you had a good time in class today. I'm sorry for the technical difficulties in the beginning. It's true we started a bit late, so we're going a bit late. C'est la vie. Love you all very much. Miss you all very much. Practice this one. We're going to do it again on Saturday sometime in the near future at iFitness. This and the other yoga classes and uh, all the other classes from all the teachers at iFitness are on the iFitness Facebook page and will be on the iFitness YouTube page. And you can also see my classes, all of my classes, on my Adrian Altenhaus Yoga and Chopin Facebook page. Namaste, everybody. Take a rest, yes, after that. Okay, bye-bye.